It was a tough one for firefighters with windy conditions and no fire hydrants in this area. At one point, 80 firefighters from about a dozen fire departments were battling this fire. It's a Sunday morning wake up call no one wants. Motel owner Brian Patel knows this fire could have been much worse. We are lucky that nobody got hurt looking at what we have. Hours after the fire burned part of his hotel and the pool area, he's already cleaning up the mess, getting it ready for more visitors. We're trying to get this main building up and running so we could accommodate our guests moving forward. This was the scene Sunday morning. I was laying in bed sleeping and about 6.30 or so I heard a boom and then I heard uh, the alarms going off. Brenda Wilson traveled from Missouri to visit family, staying one night at the Super 8 Motel. I started smelling the smoke and smelling the burning, like the burning rubber and type of stuff. And so I got up and looked. Wilson stayed in one of 31 rooms occupied when the fire broke out about 6.30 Sunday morning. They worked in the immediate area of the fire evacuating and then branched out from there and then did uh, double sweeps to make sure everybody was out of the hotel. Once fire crews evacuated the guests, they attacked the fire. They also had to fight the wind and get water to the motel. There are no fire hydrants in this rural area. We've had to use several departments to shuttle water in with tankers. Firefighters set up portable tanks to get the water on the flames quickly. We got everybody out in time, so nobody was hurt. I want to thank all of them people. Um, appreciate that effort. The state fire marshal is investigating the cause. No word on the amount of damages done here at the Super 8 Motel. In Walnut, Michelle Bandour, KETV, Newswatch 7.